Good morning, everybody. Morning. I was going to make a joke about it snowing, which it isn't currently, but we're recording this and it might be snowing by the time this goes out. Or it might not be. Or it might not be. So if it is, you can decide what you're listening to. What's the snow looking like where you are? Or isn't it a nice sunny day? You can choose which one you want to go for. Um, just that's a message really just to say that we're, we're pre-recording this this Wednesday, um, which we'll do once a month. We do a pre-recorded one. And um, so that basically means you can message in, but um, they'll just appear on the Facebook and the YouTube feed. They won't appear on the screen as we go through. Um, good morning. How are you? It is good to join with you this morning. Um, messages for you this morning. Um, just to say that tomorrow, Thursday, between 11 and 12, Basic Life Pop-Up Shop is um, happening. Please do pray for all of the logistics and all of the people that come to that. Make such a difference to people's lives. Pray for that incredible ministry that's continuing there. So thank you to everybody that's involved in that from right from the beginning through to the delivery. Thanks for that. Um, coming up, not too far away now, we're beginning to do our Christianity Explored course, which, yeah. which is an opportunity to um, explore some of the basic principles of Christian life. Um, it, if you've been to church for a while, it's a good thing. But if you've not been to church for a while, it's the sort of thing that you it's the sort of thing you can invite people to. We look through the Gospel of Mark and we look at some of the key principles of, of Christianity and what they mean. It's a great opportunity. If you want to be involved in that, and we've got a number of people that want to be a part of that, please do email me and then I'll add you to my list. And Reverend Paul Clark and myself from Walton and Trimley, we're going to run it between us and we're going to use Zoom. So if you're miles away, you can still join in with us. It's absolutely fine. It'd be brilliant to join with you to explore some of those principles together. Um, I had another one. That Quiz. I was oh, thank you, Helen. 13th. <laughs> There's a little Jill. Thirteenth of February. Thirteenth oh, of February. We have another quiz along with Walton and Trimley. We're joining together. Yep. Jill's going to set the questions. David White and you and the sheep will be, as always, presenting and uh, asking the questions. And we're talking about possibly being a Valentine special. You a can't. Valentine. What special. you do? I'm just going to say this. You can't treat somebody and go out for a meal for Valentine's Day. So why don't you say, "We'll go to a quiz." Get some chocolates and you can eat chocolates whilst doing the quiz. It's a Valentine special. What what more could you want? Perfect. Guess what I'm going to be doing. Guess then. what you're going to be doing. And just a reminder, if you wanted to, you can contribute towards the work of the three different charities that we local charities, which is Boost, um, Basic Life Charity and the Hope Trust. Those three charities that make such a difference in our community. Yeah. So please do um, put that in your diary. The details about how to do it are going to are on the website. And next week, there we go. It's all there. It's all there for you. And it's across the top. You can click on the picture of Jill and it takes you to it as the little rotation thing goes across the top. And there we go. It's in there. It's under there. Brilliant. Fantastic. So you'll be able to find it. And all of the details are there. How to be involved. If you're uncertain, please do contact David um, White or myself and we can help you with that. And if we know beforehand, it's good. And it's and the benefit of joining with another church is it's the same amount of questions, it's the same amount of clicking of work. It's just that we get more people together, which is absolutely brilliant. Invite family from a long way away. I know somebody that says that often their sister joins from quite a long way and really enjoys being in with the quiz. Please do be in touch. You don't have to have a team. Oh, if it's yeah. just you. Be in touch because you get put in a team and you get to chat to all sorts of people. You might even end up in a team with us. In, in fact, the key point is you don't have to form a team. The idea is you, you yeah. get put into teams and basically you get put into a team with about two or three other different screens, as that's the phrase that we use now. Please do join us. So it's great fun. So however far away you are, it would be lovely if you could join with us. Um, reminder, we've still got our services coming up. We're still not meeting in the building at the moment. And just so that therefore on Sunday at 9.30, we're... Um, from the study again and then reminder that in the evening at five o'clock Reverend Paul Clark and myself are on the radio um, um, on Felix Day Radio um, which is always a joy to join together so let's just take a moment and I'm going to ask Helen to light the candle and just to kind of acknowledge God's always with us God's always with us in all things. Sometimes all of the busyness and the hecticness and the all of the stuff that's going on makes that quite difficult to acknowledge. And we're stepping aside and reminding ourselves of our call to live for the one who loves us so much, who reveals his love by 
what he's done for each one of us. Grace, mercy and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And also with you. Lord, we have heard the good news of the life, death and resurrection of your son. We've come now to experience its power, to hear your call and to be sent as disciples. Lord, <clears throat> so fill our thoughts, our lives and our lips with songs of praise that others will long to bring glory to him. Amen. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, the first commandment is this, hear, O Israel, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind and with all your strength. And the second is this, love your neighbour as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Let us therefore now confess our sins. The grace of God has dawned upon the world through Jesus, through our saviour, Jesus Christ, who sacrificed himself for us to purify us as his own. So let us now confess our sins and let's just take a moment to bring before God those things that we've, that we've done that we shouldn't have done and those things that we haven't done that we should have done. Let's just take a moment to bring those before God right now. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God, Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the word made flesh, the splendour of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in life eternal through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. We join together with the wonderful words of praise to say the Gloria. Glory, Glory to God, God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And the collect for this week. Almighty God. Whose son, reve whose son revealed in signs and miracles the wonder of your saving presence. Renew your people with your heavenly grace and in all our weakness sustain us by your mighty power. Through Jesus Christ, your son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Amen. I'm now going to ask Helen to bring our reading for us today. Thanks, Helen, if you'd introduce that. You always sound slightly surprised. I'm now going to ask Helen. Yeah, that's... Funny enough, that's, it's uh, Helen, Helen sitting okay. next to you. All right, all right. Sorry. Just, it was just... Just an act of surprise. Uh, and today's reading is Mark chapter 4, verses 1 to 20, and it's headed the parable of the sower. So it's a very well-known passage. But let's just listen to it again. Mm. Again, Jesus began to teach by the lake. The crowd that had gathered round him was so large that he got into a boat and sat in it out on the lake, while all the people were along the shore at the water's edge. He taught them many things by parables, and in his teaching said, Listen, a farmer went out to sow his seed. 
As he was scattering the seed, some fell on the path and the birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky places where it didn't have much soil. It sprang up quickly because the soil was shallow. But when the sun came up, the plants were scorched and they withered because they had no root. Other seed fell among thorns, which grew up and choked the plants so they didn't bear grain. Still other seeds fell on good soil. It came up, grew, produced a cop, some multiplying 30, some 60 and some 100 times. Then Jesus said, whoever has ears to hear, let him hear. When he was alone, the 12 and the others around him asked him about the parables. He said, the secret of the kingdom of God has been given to you. But to those on the outside, everything is said in parables so that they may be ever seeing, but never perceiving, ever hearing, but never understanding. Otherwise, they might turn and be forgiven. Then Jesus said to them, don't you understand this parable? How then will you understand any parable? The farmer sows the word. Some people are like the seed along the path where the word is sown. As soon as they hear it, Satan comes and takes away the word that was sown in them. Others, like seed sown on rocky places, hear the word and at once receive it with joy. But since they have no root, it will only last a short time. And when troubles or persecution come because of the word, they fall away quickly. Still others, like seed sown among thorns, hear the word. But the worries of this life and the deceitfulness of wealth and desires of other things come in and choke the word, making it unfruitful. Others, like seed sown on good soil, hear the word, accept it and produce a crop, some 30, some 60 and some 100 times what was sown. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. As Helen said, it is an incredibly um, familiar parable to so many people. You know, it's kind of it's the first one that Jesus uses in Mark and, in, and within this passage, he explains why he's teaching in parables. Uh, one of the things is that everybody that was listening to it would have the symbolism would have meant something. So, it's you know, it's a little bit like we have symbolism in our culture today. You know, we often, you know, bulldog stands for Britain. Do you know what I mean? It's when you're talking about a bulldog. So therefore, in, in this, one of the key things to remember is when when they're talking about the farmer, the people that would have heard the parable would have thought God. OK, because that is an image that is a almost like an image that everybody would have thought that, that all the, the farmer sowing the seed, that is God. So so people would have got that imagery pretty much early on within what it is. And it and it talks about the farmer. And it, I think this is a farmer that's not very good at directing the seed as we would. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I mean, I think when we were sowing seeds last year when we we all started becoming very good gardeners didn't we and we were all very careful because we didn't have that many seeds and we were all very careful where we were putting them all and then fred came out and just scattered them. scattered them and um do you know i reckon his came up just as well as mine <laughs> <laughs> but we're talking about a god here who doesn't look to the things that we look to yeah there's a there's an ex there's a generosity of god here yeah there's an incredible, you know, that God, it, it says in, in, in John 3, 16, for God so loved the whole world. So God's love is for the whole world. God's seed that he's sowing is for every part. It's not just like, oh, I, th I think that person's ready or I think that person will respond. God loves each and every single person that we encounter. So that's really, there's, an, there's an incredible, outrageous generosity of God's love which is just, I think is, is one of the things that's revealed to me in this parable. The other thoughts are that, you know, you've got different different, different um, bits of soil respond differently to the soil, don't they? And, and you talked about different people. And I kind of think, okay, so it, it, this is just telling me how it is. You know, is this parable just a, a commentary on what is? But what is there that I can take away from it, this parable other than just saying, God is incredibly generous. Some people respond, some people don't. And these mm. are the reasons why. Is that all I'm supposed to take away from this parable? I wonder. I'm not sure that it is. No, I mean, I, I've been reading into reading, reading it again and again, because it is something that we've we've spent a lot of time on over, you know, as you grow up. It's one yep. of the parables that you read when you're in Sunday school and it carries mm. on and and you go, oh, yeah, 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 that's what it is. And I want to be the good soil and I want things to grow. And I, yeah. you know, but actually 
for me, what this was saying is, you know, that that when he he, and I may have got this wrong, when when the farmer sowed the seed, it was on prepared soil. But that soil might not have been prepared in the way that he was it, that it needed, that to, needed be. to be. Yeah. So, like we used to live in um, Tostock. And there was a field that we used to go for a walk on and the farmer would sow the seed up and down, up and down, up and down and the, and the wheat would come up. But there was a footpath that went right across the middle mm, of it. Yep. Now, the seed had been sown there, but because people walked up and down, up and down, up and down it, it was yeah. it was hard and the seed wasn't able to come up. So the, the, the soil would have been right, but it circumstances, circumstances yeah. made it hard. And I think... For me, that's sort of what it's saying is that people are different and the different amounts of preparing that they need for the seed to grow yeah. is different in different people. And, and it's difficult to spot. It, 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 so that's, that there's a moment where people are like, oh, that person, oh, that person. You know, it's, it's not like that person's really or that bit looks. So I think, I suppose what I'm thinking is, 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 is what as, as, as people who are following Jesus, as people who seek to live, show and tell the love of God, um, what, what's, that, what's this parable got to say to us about what we've got to? Yes, it, it's a commentary on what how people, this is why people respond, this is what's going on. I think the other is, 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 is how, how do we help prepare people? Mm. And, and, and is it just throwing more seed at it? God's love doesn't end. How do we begin to get people to respond? Part of it, I think, is we need to draw alongside people and we need to listen to what's going on. You know, so, so, sometimes the, the critique of church historically, uh, Christian movements historically, is that they, they go in and they tell people what to do. This is what you need to do. I think actually within this parable, People are very different and we don't can't always tell that and listening and, and being alongside people. And, you know, the things like choked by the cares and the worries of the world. You know, if however much I tell people that God loves them, if they're hungry because they don't get what they need, then they're not going to hear that. If, if we have to show God's love. And I think sometimes by what we do and what we say and how we are, I think we challenge we, we we begin to you know we begin to be a part of that transforming the the soil that people are going to respond to mm. you know it's it's not it's it's not a kind of it's not kind of like simple but i think there is that moment and, and one of the key things that transforms people is prayer as well isn't it how, how much time you think of the people you want to know think of two people three people that you want to know to come to know jesus Think of the amazing difference that you know that would make in their life. And I challenge myself, how much do I pray for them? How much do I pray that the Holy Spirit would prepare them to receive that good news? There's a challenge, isn't there? How much do I show them? That's a challenge. I, I just I just that just kind of struck me as this you know one of the things that really transforms we know isn't it is prayer mm. let, let, let us commit to pray for people that they might respond to God's love because God's love just won't stop coming no. God loved the whole world that he gave his only son how do people respond to that I wonder what your thoughts are on that now you could message me via email because you can't message me in the service today Helen, I'm about to sneeze. Can you just carry on? Yeah. Oh, it's gone. It's okay. It's, it's, you know when you, sometimes you say, I'm going to sneeze, it stops you sneezing. But you can still carry on. That's okay. Please be in touch with us if you've got any comments or any thoughts on that or anything you want to challenge us on, because I did witter on a little bit there. Um, it, it, it is really interesting sometimes to come to a passage and to spend time with it and think, what are, what are you saying to me, God? No, yeah. what, not, not what do I know about this, but God, what are you speaking to me? Maybe God's preparing our hearts to receive something, to receive something new about his love today. Now, hymn wise, Helen, was it quiet my mind? It was indeed. And maybe one of the things we all need to do in this time with so much of going on is to allow ourselves to be still and to be quietened and put aside some of those things that are stopping God growing things within our lives. So we're going to um, have a beautiful hymn, Quiet My Mind.
We're now going to affirm the faith in the one who loves us so much by saying together the words of the creed. Though, Though he was divine, divine he, he did, did not, not cling to equality with God, but made himself nothing. Taking the form of a slave, he was born in human likeness, and he humbled himself and was obedient to death, even the death of the cross. Therefore God has raised him on high, and given him the name above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, and every voice proclaim, Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Helen, you're going to lead us in our intercessions. Thanks. Yeah. Let's pray. Rooted in Christ, let us call to mind now all those in need and pray for them to our Heavenly Father. We pray that all who teach the Christian faith may be given appropriate language to get through to those who hear, so that the words of God take root in many hearts. Lord of life, help us to grow. We pray that all diplomats, negotiators, may promote peace and friendship between nations fostering mutual respect and understanding. And today we lift those countries and those people groups that God has laid on our hearts. Lord of life, help us to grow. We pray that those whose lifestyle has been threatened or shattered by injury, illness, disease, may find within their suffering the seeds of hope, bringing new meaning to their lives and transforming their outlook. Lord of life, help us to grow. We pray that we and our families, neighbours and friends may become daily more Christ-like and less self-centred more responsive to the needs of those around us and less bothered by what we as individuals get out of life. Lord of life, help us to grow. And knowing that Father, our God our Father is listening, we pray in silence for our own needs and cares and those who God has laid on our hearts. Father, we lay our needs and cares before you and ask you to hear us through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our Saviour Christ is the Prince of Peace. Of, his, of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end. The peace of the Lord be always with you and, and also with, with you. you. Let us offer one another a sign of God's peace. Peace be, peace with, you. be with you. The Lord is here. His, His spirit, spirit is, is with us. us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. <clears throat> you are worthy of our thanks and praise, Lord God of truth. For by the breath of your mouth you have spoken your word and all things have come into being. You fashioned us in your image and you placed us in the garden of your delight. 
though we chose the path of rebellion, you would not abandon your own. Again and again, you drew us into your covenant of grace. You gave your people the law and taught us by your prophets to look for your reign of justice, mercy and peace. As we watch for the signs of your kingdom on earth, we echo the song of the angels in heaven, evermore praising you and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord God, you are the most holy one enthroned in splendour and light. Yet in the coming of your son, Jesus Christ, you reveal the power of your love made perfect in human weakness. Amen. Lord, Lord we believe. believe. Embracing our humanity, Jesus showed us the way of salvation, loving us to the end. He gave himself to death for us, dying for his own. He set us free from the bonds of sin that we might rise and reign with him in glory. Amen. Amen. Lord, Lord, we, we believe. believe. On the night that he gave himself up for us all, he took bread and he gave you thanks. He broke it and he gave it to the disciples saying, take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Amen. Amen. Lord, Lord, we, we believe. believe. And in the same way, after supper, he took the cup and he gave you thanks and he gave it to them, saying, drink this, all of you. This is the blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Amen. Amen. Lord, Lord, we, we believe. believe. Therefore, we proclaim the death that he suffered on the cross. We celebrate his resurrection, his bursting from the tomb. We rejoice that he reigns at your right hand on high and we long for his coming in glory. Amen. Amen. Come, Come, Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus. And as we recall the one perfect sacrifice of our redemption, Father, by your Holy Spirit, let these gifts of your creation be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Form us into the likeness of Christ and make us perfect offering in your sight. Amen. Amen. Come, Come, Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Look with favour on your people and in your mercy, hear the cry of our hearts. Bless the earth, heal the sick and let the oppressed go free and fill your church with power from on high. Mm. Amen. Come, Come Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Gather your people from the ends of all the earth to feast with all your saints at the table in your kingdom, where the new creation is brought to perfection in Jesus Christ, our Lord by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our, our Father, Father in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be your name. Your, your kingdom, kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Every time we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, Redeemer of the world, grant us peace. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. Eternal God, Lord Jesus Christ, since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I pray you would come spiritually to my soul. Come, Lord Jesus, come and cleanse me, heal me, strengthen me and unite me with you now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ given for us all. Amen.
Gracious God, lover of all, in this sacrament we are one family in Christ your Son, one in the sharing of his body and blood and one in the communion of his spirit. Help us to grow in love for one another and come to full maturity in the body of Christ. We make our prayer through your Son, our Saviour. Amen. Amen. And may Christ, the Son of God, perfect in you the image of his glory and gladden your hearts with the good news of his kingdom and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you now and always. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In, in the, the name, name of Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us this morning. It's been an absolute pleasure to worship together. Just a reminder that if the website is, a we're putting out a newsletter every fortnight, but the website is a place where other updates go to. So please do look at the website, you know, reasonably every now and again, stuff comes up, we put stuff on social media as well, but the website's a really good place to go to if you're not on social media for picking up lots of the stuff. Um, have a really good week. Be in touch. Take care. God bless. See you soon. Bye. Bye.